like to get drunk and get loud. It has to be like bacteria involved, you know, because you just want to make sure you're good. I'm ready to be around the quiet neighbors. Walk they dog, you know, tend to that business. Shit, what the fuck you complaining for? I can't wait till I get you. Baby, get into it, okay? That's literally my favorite one, y'all. She's been tea since back in the gap. This is tea, okay? I've been asleep this long. Either in the bed with you or beside your bed. I know I do. Hey, we about to eat it up. Hey, you strap it, I'm strapping the fuck off. You're kidding me, right? What's up, friends? Clearly, as y'all can see, baby, the bathroom was not cutting it for you, girl, okay? But, welcome or welcome back to another video. Let me go ahead and give y'all a rundown real quick. As y'all see by that title, we're about to do a night routine. I was supposed to film this last night, y'all, but the weather got, like, real bad, and I was just like, you know what? Your girl is going to bed. Here we are the next night. It's Friday night. It is 9.31 p.m. The bathroom was not working out for me because, y'all, my neighbors, loud. On the weekend, like to get drunk and get loud. It's so hard because it's like, my weekends is my work days. Like, I'm all already up at 9 31 and y'all loud like and y'all rowdy i literally couldn't even hear myself think i was in the bathroom so i was like oh no nah, baby we got to come out of here that's why we had to relocate y'all know baby this is home but what i wanted to tell y'all was i wanted to do a night routine because there's a lot that i've changed up and a lot of new stuff that i use now so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all like a night routine like a kind of unwind with me my new skincare routine oh i also wanted to update y'all on my underarms so i know a lot of people are like very curious on the journey of trying to go natural so i'm just gonna share like my experience with it so far i actually ended up detoxing my underarms for the first time like two or three weeks ago i want to say it was okay i'm not gonna lie like i was a little shocked i had to go back to regular deodorant that day because when i detox my underarms so if y'all don't know what i used to detox is the aztec clay mask and then i just i dilute it a little bit with some water and i just make it a little mixture that day that i did it for the first time i ended up using limes it's actually somebody i work with that told me about using limes and like the benefits of them i started using limes or whatever the first day like i was good for like probably like the first hour it was like later on that day i kind of started to feel myself you know feeling sweaty and you know like you don't really gain an odor from just sweating it has to be like bacteria involved i was clean but it was just i felt myself sweating and you know us as people you know you feel yourself sweating and you like oh let me go dry it up or let me put some deodorant on you know because you just want to make sure you're good i ended up using like regular deodorant again right so i was like you know what i know i caved in but i was like huh i want to find something instead of like this regular deodorant so that's when i came across the brand native i ended up figuring out with native you have to apply the deodorant like three times a day like two to three times a day because it's all natural since your underarms aren't fully detox you're steady having to reapply it reapply it so i was like just trying to figure out basically what worked for me and what did it so let me tell y'all me and joseph we was in the car we was about to go run some errands right literally that morning i had detox my underarm so this morning that happened today this morning this morning i ended up detoxing my underarms right y'all i was feeling so good i'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip because i actually recorded this morning for y'all to like let y'all know in real time how i felt so baby uh roll the clip so y'all this is the morning camp Kate jumping in. It is currently it's like 9, 17, 9, 18 a.m. Me and Joseph are about to head to the wholesale store, to the wholesale store to go and get some tops and some shorts and stuff to print on. But I wanted to jump in here because yeah, I ended up detoxing my underarms this morning and they just feel really, really good. Like my underarms feel really, really good. I actually left out the house and I didn't put any deodorant on. We about to see how it's gonna go. They feel really good. Like I don't feel no type of way. Like I just, I feel regular, you know? I detoxed them this morning. I don't know how to explain it, but I want to step it up a notch with detoxing my underarms. I think I'm going to step it up with detoxing like three times a week, doing morning and night when I detox. Because typically, I just either detox in the morning or I detox at night. But I know a lot of y'all are very curious in this journey. So, I just want to, you know, I want to share it with y'all. So, I did detox this morning. Me and Joseph just about to run to the store real quick. We shouldn't be out no longer than like 30, 40 minutes. So, I will update y'all again. But it's just like a little mini update. I'm going to detox my underarms again tonight. So, yeah, this video is probably going to be in a night routine. But, yeah. See y'all! Toodles! Mwah. I didn't feel no type of sweat like I literally didn't feel nothing but the moral of the story is y'all I've been feeling so good all freaking day so with all that being said we are going to detox again tonight your girl is super excited about that I think I'm gonna detox after I get out the shower because that's how I've been doing it so far I've been detoxing after I get out the shower 
Just another thing, y'all. I literally cannot wait to move. I'm ready to be around the quiet neighbors, you know? Like, I'm ready to be around the neighbors that just walk their dog, you know, tend to their business. Like, I don't need the neighbors that like to get rowdy on a Friday night and just turn up and get loud. That's not me. And, you know, if I am turning up and getting loud on a Friday night, it's not in the comfort of my own home. It's just never been my thing. It never gave for me. A kickback is one thing, you know? Maybe the countdown is real. The countdown is real. Y'all, this lighting got me turning yellow. So, excuse me if your girl just keep turning in yellow. Before we get into my skincare routine, no, you girl do not have no makeup on. I need my phone because I need to be taking thumbnail pictures, okay? I've gotten in such a great habit of taking thumbnail pictures to the point where I can't, mm, I can't just not take thumbnail pictures, you know? Like I was saying, y'all, I don't have any makeup on. Um, I haven't wore any makeup on my updates since I've been off. My skin did break out. I noticed the breakout right here. Lately, my skin's been looking really good. Y'all know, baby, we had a little twerking haul one of these vlogs, and I told y'all that your girl had got some new skincare products. So, baby, she's fine. Okay, La Roche Posay, baby, you did your thing. You did your big one. So I don't have on any makeup. I'ma just go in with my micellar cleansing water. I just like to go in with it because it literally gets all the dirt off your skin before you even get into the get into the real get into. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a fatty fuck. I'm so fed in love. She what the fuck you complaining for? Up. Used to trip off that shit I was kicking to you Had some fun on the run though I'll give it to you but baby we about to go in with the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So this is for normal to dry skin. Maybe during the colder months, I tend to have drier skin, but my skin is really a combination more than anything. But before I go in with it, y'all, I do like to wet my face a little bit. Don't get it twisted. You was just another nigga on the hit list. Trying to fix it in the issues with a bad bitch. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? Fuck your white horse and the carriage. But you never could imagine. Never saw you could have it. You. Clearly, y'all seen your girl lotioning. I was lotioning my arms and my legs. I showed y'all what, well, hold on. First of all, let me talk about how I did not record me showering y'all because I kept trying to get my camera to stay on the wall and it wouldn't stay. It kept falling. So I was like, you know what? I'm not finna go ahead and get my camera wet and then that's a whole nother problem. I didn't end up recording, but I did show y'all what I used in the shower. I did not shave this go round. I, and my skin is so soft, y'all. Like it is literally so smooth. I don't know why I'm holding it. Y'all got burnt right here. My skin is so soft though, y'all. I haven't really been shaving my arms lately. I just been exfoliating them and lotioning them. And y'all, I have been like so freaking soft. When I was in the shower, I just used this strawberry scrub. I'm pretty sure y'all already know about the Shea Sugar Scrubs. The, well, the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs, baby. Yeah, she's tea, okay? She's definitely tea, and y'all, it smells so good. It's hard for me to explain. Like, it smells like sweet strawberries. Just like, imagine a strawberry scent, but like, really sweet. Oh, 
chef's kiss it literally smells so good y'all i think well not even i think so far out of all the ones i've smelled that's my favorite one for show if you have not tried the strawberry shea sugar scrub from tree hut baby get into it okay that's literally my favorite one y'all it smells so freaking good they all pretty much work the same but that's my favorite scent so yeah i use that in the shower and i also use my olay body wash i'm not a dove girl anymore y'all dove just tends to dry my skin all the way out so lately i have been yeah my arm is so smooth but lately i have been using olay and it keeps your girl real moisturized my skin don't be feeling dry when i get out the shower none of that okay so when i got out the shower i showed y'all i used these two together to lotion literally my whole body my arms my legs my feet everything i use those two i don't know if y'all make y'all lotions with oil but baby baby oil buy your oil whatever kind of oil you want to use cocoa butter oil whatever i always do baby oil and the regular vaseline baby y'all know she's tea okay she's been tea since back in the gap okay what i love about the mixture the most is y'all it does not leave me oily at all i'm about to go ahead and detox my underarms so like i told y'all earlier i just use the aztec clay mask i told y'all in the last vlog i don't use this for my face i only use it for my underarms because baby this is too harsh to be going on your face i just put a little water in here as y'all can see that's a lot of water because baby it's so liquidy but i'm just gonna stir it around and then honestly y'all just make it so it's like consistent i know i be putting way too much i need to find some actual measurements that way i'm not overusing because i know for a fact i be overusing because i pour too much water and then when i pour too much water i have to have it like a creamy consistency so you're gonna have to go back in and add more powder we're gonna let that dry y'all and now we finna go ahead and get into the rest of the face routine y'all saw your girl go in with the hydrating cleanser now i'm just about to go in with Effaclear. i think it's called Effaclear. Effaclear is a clarifying solution targets clogged pores and smooth skin texture so it's supposed to be a new medicated formula this is tea okay when i say i definitely have noticed that my texture has been like smoother like just washing my face in the morning i noticed i don't have as many pimples so it wasn't you all right Honey came in and she got me red-handed Dreaming with a girl next door Picture this, we were both butt naked Banging on the bathroom floor How could I forget that I Y'all, so something else that I want to get for my skin that I also saw on TikTok. I don't know if y'all um, have heard of it, but what is it called? It's called Topicals. I think it's either called Topical or Topicals. I inserted a picture. Y'all, I heard that it's literally so good for dark spots. And I think that's like the last thing that I'm really fighting is my dark spots. That's really it. Yeah, so I'm excited to get that. But I said I was going to hold off on getting it. I'm probably going to wait like another week because I just started using this stuff on my face last week. One thing I don't want to do is put too many new products on my skin because that's one thing that will break my skin out but anywho i didn't even tell y'all what i'm going in with y'all know your girl get to talking I just ended up going in with the La Roche Posay Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion. Since my underarms are not quite dry yet, I'm gonna leave them on for about probably about five to ten more minutes. Right now it is 10:52. Your girl is trying to be in the bed by midnight because I be mean, we work it up tomorrow. So yeah, your girl trying to be in the bed. Your girl is back. As y'all see, the underarms, baby, they're way drier than what they were. So we have to go ahead and take it off. I'm excited. Y'all, I did get a little bit on my tank top, so I'm gonna just change tops before I get in the bed. We are back. I guess we'll just let them dry. Y'all, so how about I just got in the bed. Baby, I'm finna call it a night, okay? Mm-mm-mm. 
Y'all, this apple's so good. This is my first time buying pink lady apples. I've been asleep this long. Baby, these are so good. I will never go back to buying the regular apples. The pink lady apples, they are so much sweeter. Like, I am juice. I'm finna go get another one, for real. <laughs> I got me some water right here, y'all, because, you know, your girl get a little thirsty throughout the night. I know everybody get a little thirsty throughout the night. Y'all know y'all be having them water bottles either in the bed with you or beside your bed. I know I do. I'm about to go get another apple, though, because this is really good, y'all. And then I'm actually about to watch the new episode of BMF. Yeah, I was gonna read my book, but I'm like, child, I haven't read my book in like over two weeks. So why get on here and read my book? Cause I'm doing a night routine. Like, nah, baby. We finna get into this new episode of BMF. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I don't know if y'all watched, what was the name of it? Uh, dang, what was the name of that show? Um, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Or no, not The Fresh Prince. Bel Air, that's what it's called. So, if y'all don't know, Bel Air is like a remake of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And y'all, if y'all have not seen that show, get into Bel Air. Like, it's really, really good. And baby, they just came out with season two last Thursday. Baby, talk about finna binge watch me and Joseph finna eat it up. Okay, we about to eat it up. When I tell y'all that is our show, BMF and Bel Air, that is our show. Every time a new episode come out, we be ready to watch it. So, the fact that Bel Air got a new season out, baby, we really finna have something to watch. It's lit, okay? So, yeah, just so exciting. It's gonna be fun! Yes! It's the greatest thing there is. At this point, we've known each other longer than we've not known each other. Uh, another round? Yeah, we need to take that and stay okay. I'm sucking on this apple, y'all, because it's so juicy. It's a show on Stars. It's called Run the World, and it look really good. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna go get another apple. Dang, do I feel like wanna go wash my hands though? I don't know if I feel like doing all that. Uh, I'm gonna just call it a night because I don't need to be eating that much in the bed anyway. I'll be back, y'all. Let me go throw this away. You're not the buyer anymore. Hell yeah. Hey, you got a roll with us? We'll get rolled the fuck over. Sounds like good news for you. But bad news for Bowen. You ladies have a good night. Hold on. Hey, you strapped it, I'm strapped it the fuck on. Stone says you got a little idea. Nigga, ain't shit little about me or my fucking ideas. I'm a big picture guy with an even bigger supply. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This a place.